Hello and welcome to the Tristan channel. Today we'll be uh, doing another reaction. I'll be doing another, blah, 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 blah. Be doing another reaction to the uh, Slapped Ham, um, the scariest ghost settings ever seen. Yeah. As, as you can see, my film sphere is getting late, so hence why I'm more cozied up. So anyway, let's um, let's do this. Um, incidentally, my, my hair looks a bit of a mess, but tomorrow I'm going to get it cut, so it should be right for the future. So anyway, let's go, let's do this. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. So today we've got something a little bit special. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest YouTube videos we've ever seen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Check the volume. When ghost hunting YouTuber Franco TV decided to visit the infamous Watts house, he captured some terrifying footage. That is wild. <clears throat> On August 13, 2018, in Colorado, Shannon Watts returned home from a business trip in the wee hours of the morning. Later that day, Shannon and her two daughters were reported missing by one of Shannon's co workers. Police found Shannon's purse, phone and car keys in the house, as well as the girl's car seats in Shannon's car. Her husband, Chris Watts, initially stated that he had no idea where they were. He later confessed that he had been having an affair, and that when Shannon found out and asked for a separation, he killed her and their daughters in a fit of rage. He was arrested and given five life sentences in prison. Franco TV starts his video by leaving a teddy bear in front of the door to offer his condolences to the family. Oh my condolences. That's terrible, isn't it? I mean, indeed, he's the... I mean... It's, it's disgusting that he killed killed them over for something that he did. It was like, you know, you cheat on your wife like that. It's like, she ain't gonna stay with you, is she? It's like... But yeah, I mean... It's good we've got five... Five life sentence worth of you know. I tell you what, for I'm not sure what it's like in all prisons, but there are some prisons where they give you a really hard time if you've killed children. You know what I mean? So hopefully he'll get sent to one where they you know beat the crap out of him. You know I mean? walking around, exploring the outside of the house. Um. I'm going to be recording with a different camera on my thermal imaging because uh, unfortunately I can't take the videos off of it. So, Using a thermal mode on the camera, he notices that one of the windows on the second floor of the house seems to be significantly warmer than the others. Let's look at the top floor there. As you can see, that looks like the warmest window, and there it is. It looks... I keep as still as I can. What the hell is that? Using another thermal setting to view the window, there appears to be something moving behind the window. Oh, it just moved. Look, it looks like a head and something holding its hand on the window. Well, to be fair, I'd like to add, you know, and people might not agree with this, but I think he got it easy, really, because anyone who kills... Who, Anyone who kills kids, you know what I mean? It's like, they haven't got their... He may be in prison, but he's got all his life still left. You know what I mean? It's... You know what I mean? What the hell is that? According to reports, this is the window of one of the daughter's bedrooms. Oh, it just moved. Evidently, this isn't the only strange thing that has happened at the Watts house since the murders. Police body camera footage from the investigation turned up what sounded... So I'll keep... Uh, sorry, it's not to be, but yeah, as you can see on my other videos, I mentioned about weird noises I heard, like someone screaming, sound like the traps are covered. Turns out, like I said in the other video on the update, it wasn't, it was actually my neighbours at it. So embarrassing, I can hear them, sorry. But apart from that, 
I keep hearing Hink, someone running around the floorboards, and it's like 20 past 12, so it's, it's a bit odd. I keep hearing it. But anyway. You really like child's laughter. In the footage, the canine unit are investigating a bedroom when a child's laughter can be heard. Yes. The officers themselves hear the noise and begin looking for an explanation, thinking perhaps a toy made the noise. Just go in there and step on that little blue thing and see if that's where that noise came. Something. There was a... I heard it. That one? Did you hear it? I did. It sounded like a kid playing or something. I heard it. Something, didn't it? Or a kid. However, they find no origin of the strange laughter. All he did was go straight in there. On a later date, CCTV footage showed a woman entering the house. Police investigated, but the house was empty. Redwood Police Department, anybody in the house? No one is quite sure what's going on at the Watts house, but many believe that the souls of Chris Watts' wife and children are still lingering where they met their grisly end. Oh, it just moved. Look, it looks like a head and something holding its hand on the window. In a video uploaded to the YouTube channel Maximum Disclosure... Sorry. Isn't that the other one? Didn't... They cut that one off too short because didn't the police also have? There was another video. I can't remember if it's the ones they react to, but it's one I've definitely seen. <clears throat> one of those policemen come down the stairs, and you see a shadow of a child or a woman, and they don't they don't see the per they don't see that person there until they've looked at the recording. If that makes sense, and that's the same plant house. can be seen wandering around a family's kitchen. The footage has left many wondering whether shadow people could in fact be real. According to the video's description, after the family started noticing strange things happening in their kitchen, they decided to set up a security camera in hopes of finding out the cause. The footage, it seems, may have captured more than they bargained for. The room is dim, with only the area near the floor illuminated by the light from the hall. If you watch the doorway closely, a strange shadow begins to form. Its shape and consistency fluctuate, but it's clearly quite large. At some points, it takes up the entire doorway. That's what she said. <laughs> Lingering for a few seconds, the shadowy figure slowly moves into the room. Might want to watch some television, you never know. Moments later, it just disappears. The family has no idea how to explain the bizarre footage, but the images on tape are certainly difficult to deny. Several viewers have likened the figure to a shadow person, a type of spiritual entity many claim to have witnessed lurking in their periphery. Typically appearing in darkened areas, shadow people are generally thought to be harmless. Still, seeing one is likely to be terrifying. This photo shows a group of girls posing for a picture in the middle of a lounge room. The child, seen crying in the bottom right corner of the image, refused to take part in the picture because she said the little boy was scaring her. At the time, her mother thought little of it, just the tantrum of a small child. However, when she was reviewing the photo sometime later, she was shocked. Finally, she understood what the... I see it, I see it, do you? There, between the legs of the girl's second and third from the left, you can clearly see the face of a young boy peering out from behind the group. While some have dismissed the face as a shadow or even an optical illusion, the young girl's reaction tends to indicate that she could really see the ghostly child at the time the photo was taken. Is this a... I'm, 
I'm not saying it, um, it isn't an optical illusion, but usually with optical illusions of photos, usually it takes someone to point it out. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I can't see. Him. And then someone goes, look, see, there's a face, there's the eyes. You know what I mean? Whereas I, st I spot that straight off the bat. You know what I mean? So it's... Another example of a child's ability to sense something that we can't. It certainly seems as though that could be the case. Posted to the YouTube channel, The Hidden Underbelly 2.0, this next video is certainly chilling. The video very clearly shows a ghostly woman dressed in white with long black hair walking through an empty mall at night time. The grudge. The shopping mall in question is none other than Galleria La Paz, a Mexican shopping mall known for its association with the occult. According to the video's description, the mall is rumoured to be linked to odd occurrences and has a history of human and animal sacrifices. The woman in question appears on the security footage clear as day. In fact, she almost seems to walk right through the security officer doing his rounds. He just continues walking forward right as the ghostly woman seems to vanish. Apparently unfazed, the security officer continues walking, finishing his checks and reports back to the security room. It's alleged that his partner asked if he saw the strange woman while doing his rounds. He said no, he didn't see anyone while walking through the mall. Puzzled and unsure what his partner was talking about, the two replayed the CCTV footage. Startled, the security officer was confronted by the clear video of this ghostly woman in white walking towards him. A woman he had no real life memory of seeing. Thoroughly creepy, this footage will surely haunt those security guards for the rest of their days. When Paranormal Investigators Island visited the supposedly haunted Sharon Rectory House in Donegal, they were hoping for some creepy ghost sightings. They were not disappointed. The building has seen numerous paranormal events in the past. Visitors and locals claim to see various ghosts walking the halls throughout the day and night. A woman who once lived in the house with her family published a book detailing the terror of living there, with stories of numerous... Ooh, same colour as Nell's mine. <laughs> ...physical attacks by what she thought to be demons. According to a history of the place, it was the site of a gruesome double murder that could be the cause of the terrifying supernatural events. When the paranormal investigators began their evening, they set up a camera at the base of a staircase. They placed a ball at the top, hoping to capture ghostly activity. The ghosts obliged. In the eerie footage, we can see the ball suddenly being pushed down the stairs. However, when you slow it down, there's clearly no one near it. According to the investigators, this staircase was the site of several other strange events that night. One person who attended the investigation collapsed on the stairs. Another claimed she felt someone trying to push her down them. In this famously haunted location, there's no telling what could happen. If these investigators are correct, there's certainly something sinister happening at the Sharon Rectory House. This terrifying video was captured on a dash cam by a motorist in the district of Kulim in the Malaysian state of Kedah. As they drive through rural countryside at 3.25am, the driver notices a woman dressed in a red top walking by the side of the road. Thinking nothing of it, they continue into the night. Moments later, a woman Lady in red. wearing the exact same outfit traditionally known as a kabaya can be seen walking along the road. Several metres down the track, the woman is seen yet again. Then, as the car rounds the corner, somehow the woman is in front once more, but this time is in the middle of the road. Finally, the driver freaks out, reverses and speeds off in the opposite direction. This clip went viral across social media, scaring the heck out of millions of viewers. Some thought it was a witch or a ghost. Others claimed it was a cleverly edited marketing campaign for a Malaysian horror movie, The Legend of Pontianak. 
An Irish mum named Jerry Moran decided to enjoy a sunny day by taking her two children for a walk near an old out-of-service train track in Derry. During the walk, she snapped a cute photo of her daughter waving to the camera while her other child heads into a dark so straight off. A wooded area. No one noticed anything amiss and the family had a nice time on their hike. However, when they returned home and Jerry looked at the photo, she was shocked by something eerie. Just beyond her son, you can see what appears at first to be a grey blur. On closer inspection, the blur takes the form of a man walking past the tree. <laughs> he appears to be wearing the uniform of a soldier and looks straight into the camera at the moment the picture was taken. According to a local historian, the area where the photo was taken was full of British soldiers during World War I because of its proximity to the country's border. In fact, a famous soldier and poet, Francis Ledwig, frequented the area during the war, writing many poems about its beauty. He was an officer, so perhaps he returned after death to the place he loved during life. Regardless of who the soldier was, this Irish mum might hesitate before taking her children for more walks along the abandoned railway. It's odd, just because <clears throat> the shape of the nose now does look like him a bit, but... <clears throat> Posted by Reddit user Chan, this video appears to show something inexplicable. The video is focused on a normal living room setup. Pointed toward the sofa, a cat is seen lounging cheerily. However, it's not this cat we're worried about. Keep an eye on the sofa to the left. As the lights turn on and the camera switches out of night vision, you can see what looks like a black cat materialising on the couch. The uploader then comes into the room, looks around and leaves. Scarier still, the uploader claims they used to have a black cat named Blackjack, who passed away almost exactly a year prior. Surely the uploader would have noticed a black cat sitting on their sofa when they looked in the room. But there, caught on camera, a black cat does indeed appear to materialise out of nowhere. Could this really be Blackjack trying to reconnect with their former owner? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Family reunions are another great time to get pictures of the entire family posing happily together. Some old family photos show that even deceased relatives want to join in on the fun. This photo of a family reunion in New Zealand appears to have been taken sometime in the 1930s based on the style of the clothing. At first glance, it appears to be a typical photo of a family enjoying their day together. However, if you look closely at the middle of the back row, there appears to be a spirit posing along with the family. To make matters more intriguing, several members of the family who grew up in the house where the photo was taken claim to have seen this very spirit in the house often standing over their beds when they were children. They described her as wearing a white dress with a bodice and dark brooch. Her hair is always tied up in a bun. Many members of the family believe that she's an ancestor keeping watch over the children as they sleep. It seems the children are not always scared by the mysterious things they see. Sometimes it's those around them that get spooked by the child's ability to communicate with something that isn't there. In this eerie clip uploaded to USC AOK's YouTube channel in March 2013, a young boy attempts to convince his mother that he can see something that she can't. When she asks him who he's trying to find, he points into the other room and says a ghost. A ghost? Yeah, a ghosty. She then asks, but weren't you trying to find Reagan? To which the young boy answers, Reagan is the ghost. Reagan is the ghost? Yeah, Reagan is the ghost. He then continually points into the other room and says to his mother that he can hear the ghost in there. I hear that ghost. You hear that ghost? Yeah. The boy then turns and runs into the other room in an attempt to find the mysterious entity that he's talking about. 
While it's unclear what happens next, the way in which the boy speaks in the clip seems so matter-of-fact. It's almost as if he's certain there really is something that his mother can't see in the next room. There are many videos on YouTube that appear to have captured children communicating with ghosts. In this video, posted to YouTube by BS Scotty321 in January 2013, a young girl can be seen sitting at the dinner table. Her brother mentions in the description that he was recording her as he left the room to see if she would touch his food. Surely enough, she does. However, it's what happens just before that that will truly give you chills. The girl appears to communicate with someone by saying, that's Billy's dinner. That's Billy's dinner. At first, it seems as though she's just playing around, possibly even talking to an imaginary friend. However, when the fork on the dinner plate moves all by itself, it seems that the young girl might actually be able to see something that we can't. Many viewers of the video believe that it does indeed show paranormal activity, and that the girl really does seem to be able to communicate with a ghost. Could it actually be possible that this girl is friends with a poltergeist? Or is there another explanation for the fork's mysterious... <clears throat> Apart from the fork, which could be just gravity, you know, where you leave sank on its edge or sank. And when she talks to herself, uh, you know, I about to say, gave the answer away. When she's saying, oh, that's his dinner, she could talk to herself, could be talking to herself. You know, and you think, oh, should I do that or shouldn't I do that? Sometimes you say it out loud or, you know, what you did when you were a kid sort of thing, but you know what I mean? movement. Posted to TikTok by user MaryLiz9, this video will have viewers watching over and over again. In the video, the uploader seems to be doing just what teenagers like to do most on TikTok. They're filming themselves doing a dance for the camera. The uploader says in the video's description that this clip was in her drafts and was appealing for viewers to explain the strange man that can be seen behind her. As it's a rehearsal that was never meant to see the light of day, we see the uploader walk through a few dance moves, making her way towards the camera. As she moves to her left, an elderly man can be seen walking towards the camera. The girl ends the video moments later, blissfully unaware of the man behind her who is now out of sight. If you slow the footage down, you can actually see that the figure is walking backwards toward the camera. This would be incredibly hard to pull off if it is indeed a hoax. The erratic movements of the girl would make it difficult to hide someone the entire shot. Since going live, the video has racked up 11 million views with thousands of comments speculating on who the old man might be. Theories range from a ghost, to a stalker, to a friend who helped stage the video. Mary Liz 9 has since posted a video update in which she insists the video isn't staged, and that she doesn't know who the person was. The video wasn't staged. I really don't know who the guy in the back was. Um, I wasn't alone in the parking garage. I was with my sister. It was just kind of a strange experience. But... She does, however, think that the man might have managed to walk away when she went to pick up her phone after the dance had ended and just didn't notice a person behind her. So what do you think? Ghost, coincidence, or something else entirely? Love to get you... ...below. Thing is, she's with her sister. And surely... ...her sister would have seen someone walk past... This historical photo from Getty appears normal at first glance. However, a viewer with personal ties to one of the figures in the photo noticed something that led to one of the creepiest ghost sightings in Ireland. The photo in question was taken over 100 years ago. It shows several young women who worked in a linen factory. They're posed with their arms crossed, wearing the traditional garments that such factory workers regularly donned a century ago. The photo was published to an Irish website as part of a gallery of old photos. A woman named Linda commented on the photo, stating that one of the girls was her grandmother, Ellen Donnelly. 
Her father has the same photo in his home, and the family's been speculating about it for years. So what has the family so interested in this photo? If you look closely at Linda's grandmother on the far right in the second row down, on the girl's shoulder just in front of her, you might notice something odd. An unexplained hand gripping at her right shoulder. There's no one on her left who the hand could belong to, and all of the other girls have their arms tightly crossed. The fingers on the hand seem to be digging into the woman's shoulder, so she certainly would have noticed if it had have been a human hand. Some believe the hand is a trick of the light or something amiss in the way the woman's dress is lying. However, others are convinced that this is evidence of a century-old ghost. Uploaded by YouTube user CH3Thailand, this next clip captures something frightening on dash cam. The footage was captured in the middle of the night. As the car drives down an empty highway, a figure seems to materialise out of nowhere. Continuing on, the car seems to pass right through the mysterious figure. This video gained a fair bit of media attention in Thailand where it was captured. After being shared on social media, the video was picked up by a Thai English language news outlet. Strange videos like these reach peak levels of speculation when they broach the mainstream, and this one is no different. The clip has drawn a fair amount of scepticism, with some viewers asserting that the figure was simply the result of a reflection on the window. However, discerning viewers find it unlikely that a window reflection could so accurately show a person standing up straight and unmoving in the middle of the road in such a way. If it was just a person wandering aimlessly on the highway, perhaps drunk, how is it that they managed to pass right through the driving vehicle and disappear without a trace? YouTuber Prosperous uploaded this clip to the site way back in June 2006, and many believe it to be some of the strongest evidence of the existence of ghosts to date. The footage is said to have been captured by the Atlantic Paranormal Society while they were investigating the Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania, a prison often thought to be haunted. Although the clip is brief, it does appear to show some sort of hooded figure walking towards the camera. It then looks as though the figure notices that it's being filmed and quickly moves away. As the Eastern State Penitentiary is often reported to be a hotbed for supernatural activity, many paranormal researchers believe that the figure seen in this video is indeed a ghost, and some have even likened its appearance to the Grim Reaper. So what do you think? Does this creepy clip actually show proof of a ghost roaming this haunted prison? Or is there another explanation for the mysterious figure? If it is, he's late, because there's no one there. Yeah, if it was a Grim Reaper. <laughs> Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. This clip first appeared on LiveLeak several years ago. It shows a girl singing for the camera alongside her sister when a series of unsettling events begin to occur. First, the door behind them slowly opens. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my... The girl on the left hears it creaking and turns around. However, the other girl is too engrossed in her song to notice. Then, suddenly, a bottle of water is pushed off the desk just before the door violently slams shut. Both girls look visibly shaken as they scream for their dad and run from the room. Dad! Dad! Poor is like, what the hell was that singing? What's making that racket? While it's certainly some very unnerving footage, the clip has been met with mixed reactions as several viewers have noted that it bears a striking similarity to a video shared a few years earlier that featured two Australian girls. In their video, a bottle of water also flies across the room as the door slams shut behind them. Even if this video is a fake, the two girls genuinely appear to be afraid. Was this a cruel joke played out by their parents? Or could there really be a poltergeist that reacts to certain pictures of singing? 
This old family photo was uploaded to Reddit in 2013. It caused quite a stir as users scrambled to explain the mysterious details in the photograph. The post, titled Extra Hand in My Family Photo from 2000, shows five family members posing for a nice family photo. The chilling thing is, if you look at the dad's right shoulder, there's an extra hand. Every member of the family has their hands accounted for, but for some creepy reason there's an extra hand perched on the dad's shoulder. The poster claims that he's the boy in the middle and was at a loss to explain the image. I'm the kid with braces in the picture and I can honestly say that is not my hand. My parents' house is crazy haunted, he said. The poster goes on to say that one summer he snuck into the front yard to have a cigarette when a full-bodied apparition appeared in the garden. He was so frightened he could barely move. Fellow Redditors analysed the image and on the whole were at a loss to explain the strange occurrence. Some keen-eyed viewers noted that the sleeve of the boy in the middle runs out of shot, which could allow him to reach around and create the illusion of an extra hand. While this could be the case, the poster insisted several times in follow-up comments that it's not a hoax and that the image is 100% genuine. So what do you think, real or fake? Love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Let's kick things off with one of the most chilling ghost sightings going around the internet. Two security guards are doing a routine check of a Brazilian hospital. When they reach the basement to lock up the morgue for the night, they hear something banging in the distance. For some reason, the lights are flickering down the hallway. A small red door can be seen opening and closing, slamming into the wall. It rhythmically bashes into the wall over and over. Gradually, the two guards make their way to the door when it suddenly stops banging. Then, as they get close enough to inspect the door, the lights switch off, plunging them into complete darkness. Eventually, the lights come back on and there appears to be no explanation for the swinging door. As they take a look at the cabinet, another strange banging noise begins further down the hallway. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly and we get no resolution. No one has been able to explain this eerie video. Some social media viewers thought it had to be a hoax, noting that the lights turned off conveniently to edit out whatever it was making the door swing. Some thought there was no way it could have been faked, hailing it as evidence of a poltergeist haunting the morgue. Others didn't care whether it was real or fake and just enjoyed it for the chilling clip that it is. What are your thoughts about this creepy video? Let us know in the comments section below. There's very little information available about this photo, other than that the person who took it was horrified when they saw the black figure standing behind the two children. Some believe it could be a shadow person. Others think it might be some sort of dark spirit that is some... Ooh, real or not, that is a creepy photo. I mean, I saw the thumbnail for that and I thought, oh, I'm dreading seeing that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, imagine, imagine showing your kids that photo. They'd be fucking hell. They'd be bricking it. Looking at the photo, the figure really doesn't appear to be a normal person at all. Not even one who has a shadow cast across them. They really do look like a shadow themselves. Their only visible feature is their eyes that eerily peer out from the darkness. While it's unclear... As Casper would say, look at them eyeballs. Taken, if the mysterious figure was still standing there when the children turned around, they would have surely received a terrible fright. Not all spirits who show up in old family photos have benevolent intentions. You know I'm skeptical, I just find images a little, some certain images a little bit unsettling because that's quite freaky, you know what I mean? You know, if, if, if I was a kid and I actually saw that, I'd be a fair, well, I'd be fucking therapy if I saw that anyway. If I, if I mean, Sometimes the ghosts who pop up in photos clearly have more hateful motivation. As Casper would say, motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Photo was snapped in Alabama in 1942. <coughs> it depicts a young couple shortly after their wedding ceremony. The two are all smiles, clearly reveling in the bliss of their recent nuptials. However, if you look closely at the tree just behind the bride's left shoulder, someone appears to be objecting to the union. 
flying in the air behind the bride appears a terrifying spirit. Her mouth is open wide in an expression of shock and anger. One arm reaches out towards the couple, while the other is raised as if in preparation to strike the happy newlyweds. No one has ever been able to hazard a guess as to the identity of this malevolent spirit, who seemed to wish the happy couple harm on the happiest day of their lives. Or it could be photo photo bomb. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The owner of this pizzeria in Tampa, Florida, believes something supernatural is happening in his store. In mid 2017, he began experiencing unusual events that couldn't quite be explained. He would. Sorry, jazz hands. often open his store in the morning to find things had been moved and objects lying on the ground. Then, one evening in August, his security camera captured something creepy on film. As the owner locks up for the night and closes the front door to leave, a small jar flies off the countertop. At the same time, what looks to be a salt shaker moves off the table. This footage appears to confirm the store owner's suspicions, as numerous objects move around the room seemingly on their own. Is this pizzeria haunted? Later that month, more footage was released showing objects moving, this time right in front of someone. In this clip, a Bite Squad driver, similar to Uber Eats, comes into the store to pick up a delivery order. As he's waiting for the food, a green box of soda cans flies off the table, startling the delivery boy. Similar to the first clip, a second object moves at the same time. If you look to the left of screen, a pen falls off a box in the corner. What could be causing these objects to move on their own? Could it simply be a publicity stunt, or is this pizza store haunted? I'm going to keep saying it in each video, I see, but if it's a poltergeist, they are messy bastards, aren't they? So <laughs> I can make a mess of your place. In October 2012, Angel Ruiz uploaded this terrifying clip to YouTube. It shows two young children as they sit, eating a snack at a small table. One of the girls points to the darkened room in front of her and says that she can see something. She's clearly troubled by whatever it is and keeps insisting that something's there. It's okay. Her friend, or perhaps sister, finds the whole thing rather amusing and attempts to spook her further. Even the woman filming tries to reassure the girl that there's nothing there. Despite this, she becomes increasingly unsettled as the clip goes on. The girl eventually is driven to tears and runs to the woman's side. While the video is unsettling up until this point, it's what happens next that will surely give you chills. The girl, who's still sitting at the table, decides to take another look in the darkened room. Suddenly, she lets out a blood-curdling scream and she too runs towards the woman. While it's not clear what it was that the girl saw in the dark. That is unsettling when kids. Oh, I mean, it's just terrible as well to hear that. Oh. I knew it was going to scream, but bloody hell. Both running in fear. What do you think it was that spooked these girls so badly? Could there have been a ghost lurking in the darkness? Or is it more likely to have been a spooky shadow that sent them running? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Now if you're enjoying our longer compilations, then check out that one on the top there. Otherwise there's a massive paranormal playlist here you can binge on for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, pulverise that thumbs up button as usual. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Boo! Well, there you go. Gosh, some of those are a bit creepy, weren't they? So, <clears throat> I have all the ones I reacted to. Some of those, I mean, some of those videos I think I've seen from other things. But, um, yeah, it's quite freaky deaky, some of those, weren't they? Some of those, some of those make you just go, oh, you know. Like I said, even though I'm sceptical, some images are like, oh, you know. And, uh, yeah, when kids scream like that, it's like, oh, my God, you know. It's just, oh, anyway, 
so there you have it folks um if you liked this video hit the like if you haven't already please subscribe it'll be great and i know you will because you're awesome yeah most people on youtube are awesome and i know you're awesome you're awesome well and i don't i never forget people who subscribe and i never forget my subscribers so um as always i put a description in the, sorry a link in the description below to slapped hammers channel go check it out it does lots of good videos um so yeah so hit the uh, hit the like subscribe share and hit the bell so you don't um miss out on it and also i put i'll just let you know in my other uh, videos i i've uh, in the description i've put um uh, information about paypal so about paypal if you wish to don't you know make a small donation what have you um i've got that but i've also now got an actual proper official patreon page which you can go to and follow as well and if you want to donate whatever then you can do it for that so anyway so there you go folks slapped ham yeah Ooh, it's just some of those photos it's like ooh. but yeah anyway so thanks for watching with me um until next time take care folks <laughs>